All right, eh daro le nenu mi bo kuno se deso la ni ya ni me na Eastern News 24. Be ba si wona utero ya bunu ko zi. Joke pa ba sta makaya bi fene me no bo daro di me. All right, um um if I utero no bo sin ketabo ya bunu news update di ko se na Otto na Canada le be wan na wan ya na pa maka no and federal government of Nigeria. Ba satara maka his threat to Yoruba and Edo. Then um uno gente ya according to PM be be a from prime minister am na before aye a ego sunu ya bi fe o wodi fa wodi ego sunu ife asha su fukuru ni ru akuko oni yege yes because after ka be from prime minister ku si degala akoto um canada government and he provided so many so many evidence that na obros o samaka ku guru ye do to na nigeria so no go many people who got if do to have many people and still nobody do something about it. So I'm a go sukuni yabo evidence. Then mana before I go sun ya beef, then to kuno ni fe out south sufuku. Alright, over to you. People supported and voted overwhelmingly for Obasanjo. They were not bigots. When Ibo supported and voted overwhelmingly for Yaradua. They also were not bigots. When Igbos voted, supported uh, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, they were not bigots. When Igbos voted, supported overwhelmingly Atiku Abubakar, they were not bigots. It was when Igbos now supported and voted for Peter Obi that all of a sudden they become bigots. There is a very vile thing that Tinubu has done to Nigeria, which is worse than the bad governance that we all are experiencing. And that is the bigotry that he has unleashed. It is unbelievable that all of, all of a sudden, there is this attack on the Igbo people. And I tell you right now, it started going towards the 2023 election. And as we are, they are already in 2027 election. Abike Dabiri recently, you know, was very, and passionately, as she said, doing her job, went after a lady who had called for massacre of citizens, both the Yorubas and the Edos. I'm from Edo State anyways. And she said she's doing her job. It's a good thing to do your job. But one of the things that we must understand is that selective justice or selective prosecution is injustice in itself. There's an article that someone wrote, David, and he talked about the fact that how all of a sudden the House of Representatives, whether it's a house sitting, whatever from there, there's a letter to this lady to have this lady uh, prosecuted and all of that. They say they're all doing their jobs, right? But what about all those other people who have been calling for, for, for attacks on other tribes who happen not to be Igbos. Why are they not being prosecuted? By the way, this lady did not act in the capacity of an Igbo person. She acted in the capacity of someone who had vile thoughts and would even think of harming anyone. For me, there's always something, when things are happening, you always look at what are those dots that need to be connected, that are not being connected. There's always something going on. And if you sit down and observe and watch carefully, you will see the dots as they are being connected. This is all about 2027 election. There are people who are afraid that once again, Mr. Peter Obi will come out and run. And not only uh, will he win as he did before, he will have more votes because there are more people now who are ready to support him. There are more people who have seen that indeed he has what it takes and indeed the people are willing and ready to stand. There are people who in 2023 knew that Peter Obi was the best candidate, but of course being rational and thinking in a rational manner, they felt that, well, it was too short a time for him to be able to gather enough votes to, uh, to, to win and they, would, they wouldn't want to waste their votes. I bet now those people have seen that 
it's not that that was what they thought was going to happen was not was not what happened and they're going to give him more support there are other people also who in their own way they thought Tinubu was going to do something and they gave him the votes that they gave him, even though it was not enough for him to win but it was enough for him to rig election and most of those people have seen that the master strategies that they thought they had have no strategy and right now they're thinking Peter will be. Then, of course, you look at the angle from the north where this incompetence, this bad governance, this insecurity has done more. Even things are worse than what it was during uh, Buhari. And most of those people, they no longer want Tinubu. They no longer want anything called the Muslim Muslim ticket. Some of them are even saying that a Christian Christian ticket would be better than the Muslim Muslim ticket. There's a whole lot that is going on. There's a silent revolution that is going on in Nigeria. And let me just quickly digress and add one thing to say uh, to us all. What the NSAS did to the Southern Youth is the same thing that the uh, end bad governance protest has also done to the northern youth and awakening an awakening of understanding the relationship between governance and people's lives and this time the northern youth are also ready to stand they're no longer allowing themselves to be divided allowing themselves to be controlled by their elders and also by the religious uh, 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 rulers for the first time you will see Malams are speaking and the youth are challenging, challenging them and telling them to shut up. Yes, that is what is happening. And to the political class that have also always controlled the northern voting block, it's something that they are afraid of. And what have they turned to is bigotry, bigotry, bigotry. There's this concerted hatred towards the Igbo people all of a sudden because one of them dared not only to run for election but all, but to win that election and to get the overwhelming support of the people around and so while I see Abike Dabri and I'm thinking why is why do you have this selective you know prosecution that is happening there have been a lot a lot of evidence videos have come out of different people who have called for you know massacres and killings of Igbos people who are from other tribes, people who are even from Abikedabri's uh, tribe. It's unfortunate that Nigeria has got into a place where we are talking of on issues based on the tribe that someone is from. But you know why? Right now, there is no uh, legal action. <clears throat> Government has not done anything. NITCOM has not done anything because at the end of the day, they want to be able to say, oh, it was the Igbos that were doing bigotry. And so because of that, see an evidence from this lady in Canada that blah, 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 blah. That's what they're trying to do. And they're working towards 2027. It's all to put Igbos and to put Peter Obi in a bad life. This bigotry did not start today. This bigotry started way, way, right from 2019. When you had the wife of the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, talking about driving Igbos away, taking away their properties. That is it. Tinubu has also, there has been reports of Tinubu where he has also, you know, put out some statements that, you know, mm, they were leading to something. So, citizens of Nigeria, the fight has started. And one of the things that I always say is that good must be more tenacious than evil. For those who want the betterment of Nigeria, you must, we must, we cannot afford to be tired. I did a tweet earlier and someone said, I'm tired. We are tired. And I said to her, I know, I understand that they're doing everything to overwhelm. But the fuel that we must always take and we must always imbibe it and inhale it is that those who do evil, they are tireless. They never give up. They are on. And so those who want the betterment of the nation and of the, pe of, of the people, those who do good must also never be tired. Sometimes there's an arrogance that comes from the father. Oh, I'm doing this thing. I've been doing so. This thing I'm doing for the people. I'm doing it. This. I want to give up. No. What have we done? Nothing. And so until we get to that place where there's good governance, accountability, and transparency in Nigeria, until we get to that place where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody, we have no business. And the no Guadalupe and Omibo, Kunisi Venezuela, and if I name Eastern is 24. Edika is a kwa. If I would that fat.
the real evidence provided by the Biafran Prime Minister Maasi, Simon Eba, to the Canada government about Amaka, Master Makifa Amaka Kudu, Master Amaka Yoruba and Edo. Before Kuno Yeme, Ndi Yoruba and Edo. Then the Biafran Prime Minister stand on his ground and defend Amaka by writing to Canadian government and providing so many evidence in this teacher. That's, there are so many people about Ndibo, to threaten Ndibo, to kill Ndibo. But all of them go flee. What did they do for how far? What did they do for what they call for in order? So why should our market own be different? So that is the help of Biafran Prime Minister of Biafran Republic Government Chinezai. So my people, what do you have to say concerning um Yabi Feno? Then Nekwenu letter Biafran Prime Minister Degalo through the Minister of Information. So the end the letter. Unafuna Yabi Fani Uku Bifana Fani Yabi Fani Uku Makia Bunezuku Kobo because Emma 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 one good turn deserve another. What I go? You go on your Zoku. go on your Zan. You're going to give you a go. So, that's there are so many people that have already said something about these things. Guru threat and deep on Lagos. Even the recent one, now, nah, many before now, nah, that uh, Ibu must go in Lagos. Or a threat, Kobo. You will pursue an Ibu man in Lagos. It's a threat. You want to go? I'll be pursuing more than ever now. What if I find it? If I find it, get a kitchen on your own. You want to get your So the best thing to know about that is to divide this country. Can you open a Jay's own way? Can you open a always don't you be the man? So I'm gonna come now. Okay, if you will keep up with some of your people, drop 